So when we are decomposing our fractions, first we looked at eight ninths, and Max told us that we needed to choose one ninth plus two ninths plus five ninths. The second one we chose was two ninths plus six ninths, and then the last one was one ninth plus one ninth plus one ninth plus one ninth plus two ninths plus two ninths. And what we noticed is that we need to look at the numerators and make sure they add up to eight. And we need to make sure that all of the denominators are nine, not to get tricked. When we add six tenths plus three tenths, we get nine tenths. And then when we add eight eighteenths minus five eighteenths, we end up with three eighteenths. Three and eighteen can both be divided by three, which gives me one sixth. Mason tried to say one eighth that he was wrong, it's one six. Okay, Shh, guys, don't talk like that on video. That isn't even right. Okay, select all the ways to decompose this mixed number, four and two thirds. First, we need to make it an improper fraction. What do you have? What's your improper fraction? Harper. Good, 14 thirds. We do three times four and add two and we put it over our denominator. So now we know we need to be looking for denominators that are all three and numerators that add up to 14. Raise your hand and tell me which ones, um, add up, which ones are showing 14 thirds. Noah. Nine, 12, 14 thirds, good. And is there another one? Trace? Three, six, nine, 12, 14 thirds, very good. Another way you can kind of look at it is we know this is one whole, this is one whole, this is one whole, and this is one whole. And up here we had four and two thirds. One, two, three, four, and two thirds. Max. Um, I think on the first one we made a mistake with the last one. I think that's what we did. What? I think the, I think the fourth one on number one right there, right? Well, it is. It's eight ninths. You're oh. confusing yourself now. Okay, so. First add in is two and three fourths, so you needed to shade in two whole circles plus three of this one, three fourths, one whole circle and two fourths. And then your sum would be one, two, three, four whole circles. And then one, two, three, four, five more. Oh, I'm sorry. Three whole circles and then five more, so it's four and one fourth. So we should have ended up with two and three fourths plus one and two fourths equals three and five fourths, which equals what? Four, four and one fourth. That looks like seven fourths, but it's a one. Okay, and then we're adding and subtracting these mixed numbers. Three eighths plus one eighth is what, Connor? Nine and one half. Well, nine is four eighths and nine, which equals nine and one half. Okay, seven ninths plus four ninths equals what? Amanda, seven ninths plus four ninths equals what? Okay, just do seven ninths plus four ninths. Seven plus four is? Eight. Eleven ninths, right? Okay, and then I have six plus five, which is 11. Now I look at that 11 and I think, uh-oh, I have got to divide. Okay. Oh no, oh no. I have to divide. All right, I can divide 11 divided by nine. Nine can go into 11 one whole time. One minus, when I subtract nine, that gives me two left over, take it back to the top. That's one and two ninths, which I need to add to my 11. So now I have 12 and two ninths. Is that what you were trying to say, Amanda? Yeah. Okay. All right, five twelfths minus three twelfths is Nolan. Five 
And 7 minus 5 is 2. 2 twelfths can be reduced to what? Nolan? 2 and 1 6. Okay, I cannot do 2 elevenths minus 5 elevenths. So I need to regroup. I need to borrow from my 1's place, giving me an 8. How do I come over here and add 1 whole? How do I come over here and add 1 whole? Lucy. Add 11 elevenths. That leaves me with 8 and 13 elevenths minus 3 and 5 elevenths. 13 minus 5 is 8 elevenths. 8 minus 3 is 5. 5 and 8 elevenths. Okay, let's convert 4 and 3 fifths to a, an improper fraction. Harper. Twenty-three fifths, and then twenty-nine sevenths. Kenley. Four and one seventh. Okay, what do we have questions on for the post test? What's something you have a question about? Okay, to be a level four, you have to be able to add mixed numbers that have different denominators and require regrouping. So let's do that. One example on the front here, where we have some room. Let's subtract eight and one third minus, I shouldn't do eight and one third, eight and two thirds minus five and uh, seven twelfths. Oh, wait, now I should do one-third, because I want you to have to regroup. There you go, Max. Eight and one-third minus five and seven-twelfths. Both times. 